does make you feel good listening it to everyone does. singing along. I know. It? It's, it's, it's touching, really lovely. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and those were, nice. those were happy songs. Were they happy times for you looking back? Um, kind of crazy. Uh, you know, a career is like uh, the graph on the back of a hospital bed in one of those joke cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> it goes up and it goes down, it goes up. But it's all terrific. I mean, you have to have the lows to appreciate the highs. Mm. And the highs have been fantastically high. So, you know, I mean, that song went straight to number one. I think it was the You Make Me Feel Like Dancing was the fastest ever number one um, in, in American chart history. Yeah, was that your big so, you break? Know, you think... It happened earlier in England, of course, you know, right from doing the Piero um, in 1974. Mm you know, with the show must go on and things like that. But to be to to come from this country and to be a big star in America was a big deal in those mm -hmm. days. And um, it was harder in those days, I think. I think it's easier a little bit now um, because, uh, you know, the American music scene is, is, is kind of more open to English acts. But in those days, it was a big breakthrough and it was a great feeling. And people like me and Rod Stewart, and were we were pushed? kind of doing it. Yeah, yeah were, were the record companies kind of pushing you? Was it important <clears throat> to crack um, America as it is now? It, it, it was personally very important, yeah. I think, more than anything else. The, the record company would only push what's going to make them money. Mm. That's the real reality of the mm. business. You know, it's just like any business. Um, so basically, if you were in favour, then most of my hits in America surprised the record companies there, you know, which was kind of I was like that. I think it's really cool to come up from under, as it were, <laughs> you know. So, uh, so yeah, it was really good. In fact, I do remember um, uh, going to a Grammy uh, uh, when I got the Grammy for um, "You Make Me Feel Like Dancing," and going to the celebration. And Fleetwood Mac had just cleaned up and had seven Grammys, and the head of our record company, Warner Brothers, over there, came up to me and just said, "Hey, Leo, it's." So great to see you at the party. Sooner or later, you're going to win one of these. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't, he didn't even know, you see. So, so and that, I, I like that. It's good. Leo, a lot of artists of your generation mm. have uh, played Glastonbury over the last few years. Yes. Is that something you'd like? Oh, to it's do? on the cards, man. Well, why not? I mean, there's that nice little slot where they've put people like Al Green, yeah. or, you know, mm -hmm. the, the legendary artists, and yeah, I, I, I could do that hands down. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not being flash, but I mean, <laughs> easy, easy peasy, bring it on. But um, no, no, I no, I love playing those big gigs as well. It's great. I mean, now I live in Australia, and I do get a chance to do. You have got a bit of Australian twang. He's just a little bit there, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, um, I, you know, I do get to play some big gigs, and we have done often in the past, you know, so it's all felt... It's, it's strange, it's all felt really like it's been a constant... It's never ever gone away, mm. you know, you sometimes you go and you play smaller places and then you're dreaming and of now, playing a big place, but you And get now, there. of course, you've also got your new album. Yeah, it's really good. It's, um, it's you've spent really... a lot of years making this, haven't you, this new album? <laughs> well, look... Uh, um, you spent a decade. You know, I'm, I'm just very slow. <laughs> 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 I like, to, I like to get my songs ready. Um, Bob Dylan said, know your songs well before you start singing. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tend to do. So I do write myself. I arrange the albums. I produce it. I do the whole bloody thing. So um, <laughs> it's got to be right. And, and, and I, I really admire Kate Bush. And Kate Bush takes this similar kind of time on things, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah. She's not fast and she takes a long time. And, and I think that's what you've got to do. Um, an album is like a novel. And I think that, you, you, you know, for me, that's my novels. I've never written a book, but... I know that I put as much work into it and I'm constructing mm. everything very carefully. You know? And when, you, when you're touring, when you're playing live, mm. are people happy to hear the new stuff? Because I think if we're all honest, you go to Leo's yeah. concert, yeah. Yeah. Say a yeah. concert and you go, you want to hear the old stuff. Yeah. You know, do, you, do you like playing the hits I, I, that we all you, love? I love playing everything, but um, they've been very, very nice about the new songs. I sit down and I play a couple of the songs and they, and they really like it. So it's been very well received, which is great, you know, and yeah. that's all you hope for. That, I, I try to make a record that will stand with the old stuff, if possible, and it seems to be doing that. There's a few kind of character kind of references in the songs, you know, mm. that, um, that will, will, will echo some of the past stuff. Mm. Hopefully that, that, you know, triggers something with people yeah, where they go, they... oh, I feel comfortable but with this. But some of the biggest hits you have are all upbeat and positive, but over Not necessarily, the... when I need when you, I love, yeah, yeah, can't but... stop loving you. Yeah, so... I love you, Janet. <laughs> 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 I know, this, they warned me this would happen. <laughs> the, album, the album is out now. It's called Restless Years. You said there are 13 <laughs> new songs, but it's always good to see you and to hear the old stuff as well, isn't it? Leo, say yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. It's up in the middle of the night and, you know, literally... Oh, that's not to write, darling. <laughs> 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 
like the side of his bed or we'll be in a restaurant and he'll kind of go, I've got a pen and paper. It's, the lyrics just are, are spilling out, so he's back to his old days of, of writing all his own material and I'm very proud. Yeah.